to contemporary American history. I'm Professor Turgeson. You know, a lot of people think history is just history is just facts. Just facts. It's just information about the past, but not me. I mean, I hold history very sacred. Sacred. The way the Bible looks at the earth, and he holds it sacred. The way a Christian takes the Bible, and he holds it sacred. The way a lot of people hold their marriage sacred. So I feel about it. So why don't we dive right in? By interpreting one of the easiest events in the last 20 years, we pulled our troops out of Vietnam. The failure of Vietnamization to win popular support caused an ongoing erosion of confidence in the various American but illegal Saigon regimes. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Ow! Is she right? Is she right? Is she? Because I know that's the popular version of what went on there. I know a lot of people like to believe that. I wish I could, but I was there. I wasn't here in the classroom. I wasn't here in the classroom, hoping I was right, thinking about it. I was up to my knees in rice paddies with guns. And Edward going up against Charlie, slugging it out with me. Well, <laughs> he's like you. We're back there partying, putting headbands on, doing drugs, listening to the goddamn Beatles albums. I mean, these kids, they were in grade school at the time. And me, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> well, I didn't know you wanted to get involved with the discussion, Mr. Helper. Go you know called that Korean conflict? Yeah, where we failed to achieve victory. How come we didn't cross the 38th parallel and push those rice eaters back to the Great Wall of China and take the first big brick and new 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 deal back into the Stone Age River? How come? Tell me why. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Good answer. I like the way you think. I'm going to be watching you.